Hello again. In this video, we're going to continue machining the actual gear engaging top locks. So we're going to machine this face and the other face. Now, this video is quite a distance from the last one, and that's because you might only see me machining one of these, but I am actually doing 12, and they do take quite a while. And whereas the other operations, it was just a case of putting one in and taking one out of the machine. These two faces actually just have to be machined true to each other. So the setup I had was was one inverted jaw on the four jaw chuck, which this face could sit against. So it had some support when I was cutting. But it also meant I could cut the two sides true to each other, because these castings were actually quite warped. And then as you'll note on the original drawing, there should be a hole here and a hole back here. So the whole spacing is four inches. So the rear hole is in the centre of this enlarged or extruded radius here. So I've already marked those off. So you can see that there. So in the centre of that radius, I have marked the centre of it to be drilled and reamed at three quarters of an inch. And then to get the hole on this part of the uh, component, I'll mark a centre line then have a set of spring calipers set to a four inch hole spacing so I can mark that out as well. So the first operation you will see is me machining one of these faces then the other. But just a note from the previous video I was asked a question about as I was tapping them as to why I didn't go to full depth. Well when I was actually doing these as I was making 12 of them I tapped them roughly with a taper tap and then went back later with a plug tap just to clean out all the holes and make sure there was no chud or to, or just to ensure I'd tapped to full depth. I did also do this with the uh, long hole down the middle and the taps held in a more and right tap wrench and I will be doing a video where I perform some improvements to one of these.
film of me facing the two sides off. And the lathe I was doing it on is from 1904, so obviously it took quite a while. And I chopped out the middle section of the video. But I'll just include at the end where I'm turning down some 5 8 bar down to half inch that I'm going to use to make the studs that are going to go through here. So that's all I've got to show you this week, so uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll show you a bit more next time.